friends how are you all doing i hope you're all doing fine welcome back to my channel thank you so much for returning back here if you are a returning subscriber may god bless you for your love and your support i really appreciate much 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 but if it's the first time here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave remember to subscribe and hit subscribe click on that notification bell you will find it down there so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video i promise you you will always enjoy every content that i upload in this channel so dear friends this has been happening a lot especially you ladies that contact me on instagram at african bella <laughs> so you find a lady is chatting with a guy and then comes to me bella i'm chatting with this guy and you know i like him so much <laughs> the first question that i am going to ask you is where is he from and once you tell me where the guy is from, with my own experience, I can tell whether, you know, that relationship can work or you are just wasting your time. Because some men from certain countries, they are masters of fantasizing on online dating apps. They will never make a real relationship. They will only chat with you, they will tell you sweet words, and they can be so good at communicating. <laughs> But when it comes to put things into actions, they will never do. So when you tell me I'm chatting with a guy, he is from this country, you will see me be like, hmm. And then I will start asking you questions after questions because I know. But exist some countries when you come to me and tell me, Bella, I'm chatting with a guy. He is from this country. I will be like, okay, please watch the red flags keep observing the guy i won't start asking you lots of questions because i know you stand a chance you know maybe that guy can turn out to be a very good guy can turn out to be your future husband so i am here today to tell you countries that have most serious men on online dating apps but this doesn't mean other countries have got bad 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 men <laughs> not at all <laughs> but according to my own research from the love stories i've been hearing here on my channel and even on social media i can tell you that these countries when you chat with a guy yes chances are high that you can create a very wonderful relationship. A guy can turn out to be very serious compared to those countries that I told you. <laughs> By the way, guys, I have a little disclaimer before I jump into this video. Yes, I'm saying that men from these countries are serious on online dating apps, but that doesn't mean they are all saints. That doesn't mean that... <laughs> Everyone you come across from that country is serious. No, guys, I'm talking of the majority, okay? So when you start chatting with a guy from the countries that I am going to be mentioning, <laughs> remember to watch the red flags, open your eyes, shine your eyes, <laughs> observe the guy very, very careful. If he has got everything you ever wanted in a man, then why not? But if you chat with him and he is still same stories that I'm telling you, <laughs> he is fantasizing, the guy doesn't want to put any efforts for you guys to meet it has been a year and he's from the country that i said they've got serious men on online dating apps girl better leave him don't be like bella said all these men are serious not all guys and i can imagine when i start mentioning these countries some of you ladies that have got bad bad experience with guys in some of these countries you'll be like bella where did you do your research <laughs> bella are you for real <laughs> i know guys i know but before you judge please watch the video till the end okay so our country number one that you are likely to find white serious men <laughs> on online dating apps 
is Germany. <laughs> yes, if you watch my videos, I think you guys can see how many success stories we have got in this channel of German men with black women, I mean interracial couples. Not even here on my channel, but even on social media exists lots of interracial couples <laughs> in Germany. And when you go on online dating apps, you start chatting with a German guy, everything is going good, then take him seriously because they might not be all that good in two words, but they are men of actions yes <laughs> very very serious but with this please remember the disclaimer <laughs> so country number two that you are likely to find a serious guy on online dating apps is america <laughs> i know you who has a very bad experience with american men right now you want to strangle me <laughs> <laughs> and be like Bella American no 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 for me I don't want American men I don't want to hear anything about American men <laughs> but we can't run away from the reality we can't run away from the truth and you are on online dating apps and you come across an American guy he seems good he seems serious for me I think you should try to concentrate with that guy get to understand him because in most cases these guys turns out to be really good very interested in a serious relationship and another thing guys if you watched ian and leticia's video the story ian told you why he was on online dating apps searching for a black woman what is wrong <laughs> <laughs> with American <laughs> women, okay? <laughs> and also Ronald, if you remember Bopin and Ronald's story, he also talked about American women and why he was searching for a black African woman. That one tells us a, a lot, especially to you black African ladies. So if you come across a guy who is really, really interested in a black African woman, he is very tired of dating let's say American women it is very very possible that guy turns out to be your husband but again I insist get to understand a guy that you are chatting to I gave you the tips on how to know if a guy on online dating apps is serious or not I also did a video about how is it like to date an American guy so if you watch that you watch then how to know if a guy is serious on online dating apps then you chatting with an american guy you will know how to go about dating him but american men tend to be really serious we have got lots 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 of couples you know american men with black women interracial couples so to add something here about american men remember the disclaimer i know you guys you have your own experiences <laughs> dating american men but i've also done my own research and these are the results <laughs> america is number two country to have serious men on online dating apps you only need to open your eyes more wider <laughs> to find that serious American man on online dating apps. Country number three that you are likely to find a white serious man on online dating apps is Britain. Yes, this includes Scotland, Scottish men and men from Ireland. So with my research, if you are on online dating apps, you come across a guy from Britain and then you chat all good, 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 good. Of course, I told you we are not perfect. So there are some things maybe you might not understand. But again, you have got a backup plan. The video that I did, how is it like to date a British guy? So you watch that and then you keep chatting with him. If no red flags, girl, trust me, that guy might be the one. 
because British guys tend to be really serious on online dating apps. Yes, we can't miss losers, we can't miss players, but, but overall you have got higher, higher chances to find a British serious guy on online dating apps. So guys, country number four that you are likely to find serious men on online dating apps, you are going to be surprised, <laughs> is Poland. Yes, guys, Polish men are a hot cake right now. <laughs> I've got like five success stories coming very, very soon of Polish guys and black African women. <laughs> All these ladies are my babies. <laughs> They are ladies that didn't know anything about online dating apps, listened to my videos, went, joined the dating apps, and found Polish men, which is very, very good. But apart from these babies of mine, even when you go on social media, you will see lots of interracial couples of Polish guys and black African women. Though I did a video and I talked about how is it like to date a Polish guy, how life is in Poland as an interracial couple. I think you guys can remember. If you didn't watch that, you can go and watch it. So you can add Poland on your list. <laughs> While browsing through men's profiles, I told you guys you can keep changing countries on Afro introductions. So one day just put Poland and see what happens. You never know. <laughs> yeah, maybe your husband will be a Polish guy. Who knows? <laughs> but again, guys, remember the disclaimer. And I'm telling you all this just to be aware. When you are on online dating apps, you're browsing through men's profiles, and then comes a Polish guy, he writes to you, then you know, maybe we can create something serious here. <laughs> so you start showing all your good qualities, you know, <laughs> to that Polish guy. Country number five, that you are likely to find a serious white man on online dating apps is the Netherlands. Yes, and something that is very funny, according to my own research, I'm told that most Dutch guy would prefer to be in an interracial dating. Yes. <laughs> and it's not a problem to them to date a black African woman. They are very open-minded. They are very open to learn, you know, different cultures, which is a very, very good thing. Remember the disclaimer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you're a lady, you are on online dating apps searching, add Netherlands in your list. Yes. <laughs> Start searching men from the Netherlands too. Try your luck. Who knows? Country number six that you are likely to find a serious white man on online dating apps is Norway. Yes, guys, Norwegian men tend to be very, very serious. They are also not so good at words, but they will show you actions. I also told you when I did a video of how is it like to date an Norwegian guy that they take time to trust you. So if you come across an Norwegian guy on online dating apps and you see he is taking his time to get to know you better, don't be like, maybe this guy is not all that interested. Why is that he's not asking me my WhatsApp numbers? <laughs> Remember, he is from Norway. He is taking his time, you know, to gain trust and then ask you for WhatsApp numbers, <laughs> then you start dating exclusively. So when you are on online dating apps, you're browsing through men's profiles, you come across a very nice profile of a guy from Norway, don't hesitate, you know, to write him that first message to say, hello, <laughs> I am Irene. I would like to get to know you. I've gone through your profile and I see you are searching for the same things that I am searching for in here. 
if it's not a problem for you let's get to know each other <laughs> okay but in every country i'm gonna be adding remember the disclaimer cause <laughs> players are everywhere <laughs> <laughs> in all countries we cannot run away from players from losers so guys country number seven <laughs> you can see my smile the smile on my face <laughs> guess guess the country that is coming next so country number seven that you are likely to find a serious white man on online dating apps is Italy <laughs> yes when you are on online dating apps you come across an Italian guy he seems serious you haven't seen any red flags girl I told you Italian men when they love they really love if he is in love with you then you are the queen <laughs> he will do what it takes to be with you this reminds me recently, you know, guys, you who contact me on Instagram, ladies, I'm talking of you. <laughs> also, some of these white men contact me too, to ask me for my opinion, to ask me for advice. So recently there is one Italian guy who contacted me on Instagram. He's dating a Zambian lady. They were having issues you know, with their tourist visa application. So I gave him some tips, I gave him advice, and I also assured him that Zambian ladies are so good. He is on the right track, so he should keep on, you know, with his plans to go to Zambia, meet that lady, our sister. <laughs> and he was like, yes, no problem, because the lady was denied the visa. So he told me, Bella, I am going to Zambia very, very soon. I will do what it takes to go meet her. They met on online dating apps. Another guy that I remember who contacted me very recently was dating a Nigerian lady. And some of his friends told him Nigeria is not a good country. It's not a good place to be due to security. So he shouldn't go to Nigeria to meet the lady. But this Italian guy was so much in love with this Nigerian lady. The lady is a single mother of one, accepted her with her baby. So after talking to me, I gave him some tips. I removed all the worries that he had and I told him there is always a way, you know? <laughs> if you love someone, there is always a way. Talk to the lady at the city where he lives and get to understand if that city is good for security cause you know, someone cannot risk his life but you have plan B too to invite this lady to Italy. Bella, for me, inviting her with her kid, it's not a problem. Actually, I'm planning to marry her because I love her very, very much. So I'm giving you these, you know, examples to understand how Italian men can be serious. But... But guys, if you remember in the past, I told you when I talked about how is it like to date an Italian guy that in Italy, especially the southern part, there is a lot of unemployment. So you are likely to find an employed Italian guy on online dating apps. Be very, very careful. You are chatting with a guy. He tells you maybe I live in the South Italy. Get to know what job he does. Because <laughs> this is one thing that you can come across while on online dating apps. So it is possible also to find a guy who is unemployed. He is Italian, but he just wants to fantasize. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you should be careful about that. That is why I told you guys, remember the disclaimer <laughs> that when you come across an Italian guy on online dating apps, don't ignore him. <laughs> Try to see how things will go. And if an Italian guy, you know, likes you, you will sense it at the early stages of your communication. <laughs> So it is so easy to know if an Italian guy is really serious 
or he isn't serious. Again, you've got to Bella here. You can always come and ask me, you know. Yeah, and then I tell you if it's okay or cross. So let's go to country number eight. So country number eight that you are likely to find a serious guy on online dating apps is Denmark. Yes, I've seen lots of interracial couples <laughs> of Danish guys and black African women. Yeah, so that means these people are very, very serious. When you find a guy is writing to you, he is from Denmark. Please do not ignore him because according to my research, that guy might be serious. Things might end up very, very good. <laughs> they won't end up into tears. Remember the disclaimer. Let's go to country number nine. Country number nine that you should consider while you are on online dating apps searching, while browsing through men's profiles, you can try to put Sweden, yes. Because Swedish guys on online dating apps tend to be serious while remembering the disclaimer. <laughs> Country number 10, Australia. I told you that Australia has got a very big number of interracial couples, which makes you to stand a chance to find a serious guy in Australia. Also with Australia, I think I talked of this too, they use a lot online dating apps. So it is so likely <laughs> to find Australian guys on online dating apps. So friends, yes, I've said those were my top 10 countries, but I've got some advice here or something to add on what I have said. Yes, those were my top 10, but it doesn't mean you can't find a French guy who is serious online. You can't find a Greek guy who is serious online. You can't find a Spanish guy who is serious online. Of course you can. And this takes me to you ladies that have been DMing me, telling me, Bella, I only want an American guy and you are in Africa. <laughs> Or in Jamaica, I only want men from Australia. There is nothing wrong with having a preference. Nothing wrong, guys. But when you are on online dating app searching, what are you searching for? Can you ask yourself that question? For me, I would tell you, search for true love. So if a Spanish guy comes, even if I said it's not in my top 10, but you chat with this Spanish guy, everything is fine. He has got everything you ever wanted in a man. No red flags. Why don't you chat with him? Why stick to only American men? Why stick to only Italian men? Chat with him, create that strong relationship that eventually that guy will turn out to be the one. Stop limiting yourself. Stop decreasing your chances to find the one. I decided to do this video because I've seen you concentrating on these countries, being like, how is the guy from this country? How is the guy from this country? Get to know, find out, watch the red flags. And I'm encouraging you to keep changing countries, especially on Afro introductions and any other dating app or dating site that allows you to change countries of where men are coming from. You can start with those top 10, but you can also go beyond. Check in Spain, check in Greece, check in France, so that you can increase your chances to be found. You can increase your chances to find that serious man that you are searching for on online dating apps. Some ladies, I know you are in diaspora already. Maybe you are in German or maybe you are in Italy and you are searching for love. Most of you prefer someone who lives close, you know, in your location. But my advice here is just search all over Italy. If you only want, you know, to search a guy from Italy cause you live in Italy. Or you are in America, you want an American guy or you want a white guy, but you are just searching in only your location. No, increase your chances. Search in all America. 
what if your husband is coming from a very different state from where you are living and you're just there concentrating only in your location. It's going to take you so long and you'll keep on decreasing your chances to find the one. So guys, I remember when I started this video, I told you exist men from some countries that are masters <laughs> of fantasizing. I also remember did a video here I told you countries to be very careful about because of such things because those men oh my god they can be so sweet they can sing for you they can be very available every time you want to talk to them you will talk on a video call <laughs> but when it comes to meet problems because for them they are only looking for someone to chat to maybe even someone married but they are bored you know of their marriages <laughs> so they want to try something new and what comes into their mind i have to talk to a black african woman i have to talk to a black woman <laughs> then he finds you you are so good at communicating everything is flowing that guy is gonna stick to you he will promise you the world but putting things into action that's a very big problem so i told you don't focus only on those 10 countries that i shared try other countries too but when it comes to those countries that i told you guys be very careful ask questions that that guy you are chatting to if he is fantasizing you will find out in a very short period of time so that you don't waste your time my other advice guys trust me i have nothing against those countries that i shared in the past <laughs> to be careful about no i've got nothing against them actually exist good men from those countries only that you just need to be i don't know extra extra careful so another thing that i shared with you guys is if you're chatting with a guy and you're from a different religion especially i talked of arabic guys so last time there is a lady who contacted me was chatting with an arabic guy and came to me to ask bella how are arabic guys <laughs> Guys, I've already talked about that and I told you if you are born and raised as a Christian lady, then you come across an Arabic guy who is a Muslim. Let's take an example. And this guy, you know, is chatting with you, is telling you good things, wants to marry you. You need to ask the guy very careful, important questions about his religion you need to understand his religion very very well does that guy wants you to convert into his religion how do his family going to take you as you coming from a different religion how strong they are you know in their religion you need to know all that how are women's rights in his country very very important <laughs> the rights of a wife in his country you should know all those i told you when you told me i'm chatting with a guy he's from this country i ask you questions and questions and questions you can see <laughs> there is a lot a lot a lot you need to know before you keep on chatting with that guy so that you can see will that relationship work or you are just wasting each other's time because some ladies you find that they tell you bella i don't want to change my religion <laughs> And she's there chatting with an Arabic guy, a strong Muslim guy <laughs> who will never accept to marry a Christian and she remains with her religion. <laughs> so if that's the case, why waste your time? Why? <laughs> Just close the relationship and move forward. But if you think you have talked to this guy, he is a Muslim guy, a very strong Muslim guy, and tells you, I want you to change your religion, and, and you are okay to convert to Islam, no problem. You know, you can convert, get married, <laughs> let love lead, okay? 
<laughs> yeah, but also understand everything about that guy, how things are done in his country, his culture, and all that. Because I know exist some Muslim countries that have got very, very strong, strict laws. And you as a black woman who grew up, let's say, in Africa, it's going to be difficult for you to integrate even in that country. So those are the things to really be very careful about. Also and exist, you know. Muslim guys that will tell you, no problem, you can remain with your religion. What matters is we love each other. <laughs> so if he tells you that, there are some things you need to confirm. <laughs> Especially when it comes to his family. Is he the guy that is easily manipulated <laughs> by the family or listens to the family very much? If that's the case and he is telling you it's okay, you can remain a Christian, <laughs> you just know. He is just telling you that and once you are married, there are going to be fights, fights, fights so that you can convert to be accepted by the whole family. <laughs> so even if he tells you no problem, no, our culture, no, no problem, it's okay. I'll teach you slowly by slowly. Make sure they are not only words <laughs> he should put things into action and show you and in this case i advise you to not rush to get married to him because there is a lot that you need to understand so friends that was our today's video thank you so much for watching till now may god bless you please if you have liked this video give it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are super good you will learn a lot comment below what you think about this video and if you have not subscribed to this channel, what are you waiting for? Join the family and thank you for subscribing. Until next time, guys, I love you so much. You're always here in my heart. Ciao, ciao.